All right, so I'm actually not going to talk about ATI in this video. I'm going to answer the question how and why I became a wound nurse. So I actually became a wound nurse right after I was a new grad. So I became a wound nurse after nine months of being an RN. So at my hospital, we have a new grad program and it's 40 weeks long. You do 10 weeks on days, 20 weeks on nights, and then another 10 weeks on days. So when I was in my 20 weeks on nights, it was just not good um, in terms of just my physical and mental health. So my family's all on day shift. I have two teenagers and my husband works day shifts, you know, Monday through Friday. So I would schedule my night shifts like all in a row, like three in a row, and then try to adjust back to a day schedule to see my family and then adjust back to the night shift. And you know what? My body just did not appreciate that or my mind. So night shift was tough. There were some advantages too um, of night shift, and I'll do a video about night shift sometime. But when I was nearing the end of my new grad period, like doing the last 10 weeks on days, that's when they work on placement for you um, after the new grad period. So my manager, like the manager of my floor, really wanted me to stay. Um, and she was really happy with me. Um, but she said I was going to have to start on night shift and um, go on a wait list to get back on days. And I told her it just doesn't work well for me. And I, I didn't want to do that. And she's like, you know, you kind of have to do it because there's a wait list. So I started looking around for other jobs. I... I was looking at other hospitals, I was looking at other units within my hospital, and then one day when I was working and the wound nurse um, came up to see my patient who had a wound vac, she was super frantic and stressed out and she's like, do you know anybody who wants to work part-time and do wound vacs for the hospital? And I'm like, well, tell me more, because I was totally looking for daytime and part-time just to get a little better balance with my family. So she was telling me about it. They just wanted somebody to specialize in doing wound vac dressing changes, which occur um, typically on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays in the hospital. So I told her, yeah, I'm super interested. And she, you know, told me who the manager was, who was doing the hiring. And it turns out I knew the manager because when I was um, working as a transporter during nursing school, I used to park the gurneys right by her office. And I'd always say hi and, you know, just be friendly. And, um, well, that paid off for me because she remembered me and she just remembered me being really positive and, and friendly. So uh, when I submitted my application, I mean, I went after it, right? I gave her my, you know, referrals. I did a cover letter. I, like, really went after it. Um, she ended up, I don't, I think she may have interviewed one other person, but um, she hired me without any experience in wound care or very, very basic experience, zero experience doing wound vax. So she hired me. So really I did it for the schedule. I wanted to work days. I wanted to work part-time and you know, that had both of those things going on. I was hopeful that I liked wound care, but I was willing to take a chance because of the schedule. Um, and also as like a side note, after I told my current manager that was interviewing for the wound nurse position, all of a sudden there was a part-time day position available um, on another unit. But again, she didn't tell me about it before. So I was like, you know what? I, I already committed to interviewing and taking this position. So I ended up going down um, this route and I was super nervous, you know, hoping I liked the work, hope I didn't suck at the work, you know? Um, and I needn't have worried because I had an amazing coworker who taught me everything. Her name is Rolene and she's been a wound nurse forever. And so that first day she took me, um, with her to do a wound back and she, she did it and kind of explained everything she was doing. And then on the second patient with the wound back, she had me do it and kind of talked me through everything. And on the third patient, she had me more take the lead and just kind of reminded me about stuff. And then she kind of set me loose after that. And uh, though the first couple months as I would go in and try to figure out how I was going to do some of these wound vacs, I would bring her in to like consult with me, get her ideas or, you know, best practices, and then she would go on. So yeah, by like the, the second shift or even the end of the first shift, I was 
I was doing moon vax. And it was so cool. It was so fun. Um, especially now that I know how to do it pretty well, it never gets old. Um, so the cool thing about being a wound nurse is, um, well, A, the schedule is amazing. I work Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I work eight hour shifts. So I work 24 hours um, a week. I'm home for breakfast with my family. I'm home for dinner with my family. I rarely work a Saturday. Sometimes I have to come in if there's like an emergency, but I don't work weekends in general and I don't work holidays and I don't work nights. So schedule's amazing, but the work is actually super amazing. Um, I didn't know how I'd feel about it, but once I got into it, I love it. Um, so you're working on one patient at a time. It's super detailed work. Um, and you're with them for a long time. So sometimes wound vac dressing changes can take an hour, even two hours, depending on how complicated it is. So you really get to know your patient. And for me as a nurse, that's like my favorite thing. It's just caring for patients, getting to know them really just, you know, just caring for them. So I get to know my patients super well and they just learn to kind of relax and trust me. And they know I'm going to be gentle and thorough and really careful when I do their wound backs. Um, I also do other kinds of wound consultations and just wound care in general, and I do some ostomy um, care as well, although I am not ostomy certified. So when I started as a wound care nurse, of course, I didn't have experience, and they, um, they told me that they wanted me to get my wound certification at some point. So I was looking into different wound certification programs, and I found that Emory University has a great WOCN uh, program. And WOCN, it stands for Wound Ostomy Continence Nurse. So um, there's like three pillars, the wound, the ostomy, and the continence. And you can get all three and be a WOCN, or you can just get one. So um, my plan was just to get the wound um, certification first. So I found out um, through Emory that, so normally you pay like, I think it's like $1,500, $2,000 to do an online program and then you get a preceptor and do clinical hours and then sit for your exam. However, if you work in wound care and have 1,500 hours of patient care doing wound care, you can audit the class for half the money and you don't need a preceptor or clinical hours and you can just sit for the exam. So that's what I did. I um, just kept working in wound care until I got 1,500 hours, which took me a little over a year, I think. And um, then I took the, I audited the um, class and I sat for my exam and I got certified. So I'm now a certified wound care nurse, so um, CWCN. Eventually I'll probably get my ostomy certification, but things are a little busy with the whole ATI channel and um, study cards and stuff. So. Um, not not really at the top of the list right now, um, but I do love I do love wound nursing and um, wound vax are super fun. It's like a puzzle trying to figure out okay I've got this wound here how am I gonna bridge it and how am I gonna you know do everything so it's good for people who are detail oriented and kind of perfectionist which is <laughs> which is me so um, for better or for worse. Uh, if you're the type of person who likes like chaos and excitement and people coding, then um, yeah, wound nursing is not for you. Then, you know, emergency room or something like that might be better. Um, my second to the last shift of my new grad period, I actually had a, a full code patient um, die on me and, um, you know, it, we got, you know, I, got, I recovered, I got through it, but I was tough. I, I prefer a much more um, structured kind of planning out, like caring for people and not dealing with the, the codes as much. So everybody's different. There's so many different paths to nursing. This works really well for me. Um, so anyway, just wanted to share my story. So I've been wound care now for almost two years. Um, I still work with Rolene, you know, the person who taught me everything. I also work with um, my other partner, Colleen, and I have like the most amazing team, supportive team. And um, if you are in Southern California, I know some of my um, the people who watch my channel actually come and do clinical rotations at my hospital. So a lot of nursing students get to shadow me in uh, wound care, and it's always it's always great to have students. I love taking students along with me and teaching them the ropes on um, on wound vax and everything. So 
Anyway, if you're in Encinitas and you end up doing a rotation at Scripps Encinitas, then um, definitely look me up and I'd be happy to have you come shadow me. So I'll uh, see you at a, another video soon. Thanks so much for watching.